Now, this, this ought to be the party line. We ought to turn the other cheek. We ought to just say, well, the reason the Republicans haven't won an, any elections except Eisenhower, and Eisenhower didn't mess around to this trash. He was a national hero. But the reason they haven't won, won, won since Hoover is because they spent all the time on Roosevelt's boy, Jimmy, and on his dog. Yeah. And uh, uh, they spent all the time on Truman and Margaret and the music critics. And uh, uh, they spent all the time on... The, uh, Kennedy and his, his religion and other things, and they just had one one, and if they don't stand for something, hell, if they just come out here and talk about revival of uh, uh, the corn tassel, or gum come out to Tom Watson watermelons, it'd be something, but they just, by God, against things, against everything, and trying to smear and fear, and that, uh, you have no alternative. The Senate Post Dispatch man asked me today, he said, what Republican frightens you the most? I said, well, not any of them now. When one of them comes out and said, this is what I stand for, and gives me a foreign policy, and said, uh, here's what I'm for, and then he gives me a domestic policy and said, here's what I'm for, and here's what I'm for in the field of education, in the field of manpower, in the field of training, in the field of civil rights, then I'll get scared, because even if it's uh, different from mine, They'll have a choice, but now they haven't any choice because we're the only ones that stand for anything. They're just against things. Well, I think we can uh, rack these boys. I, I've had talked with some of our uh, senators back here about our plans on this tax bill, and we're, we'll dominate this. Uh, we'll dominate the weekend, and that's the important thing. I thought that we get a good start with Thursday, Friday, Saturday. We'll have enough stuff here to uh, to really have control of the uh, the news items. You tell people like Gil McGee and Frank Moss and others that we're really going to help. Yes, Just say, now, damn it, boys, you get here and get your speech and ask some questions here and get your name in the paper here, and every damn one of them ought to take, uh, ought to take your line. And what we are, uh, 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 we're for war on poverty. We're for economic growth. We're for world peace. We're for security. We're for Medicare. We're for human dignity. We're for human rights. Now, this is what we stand for, a government of strength, a government that's solvent, and a government that's compassionate. And it just makes these guys look silly. Yes, sir. Okay, I just want to congratulate yeah. you. I was reading it. It's the best thing I've seen all day. God damn it, I had Indonesia, and I had Panama, and I had Cyprus, and they're coming in tonight, 7.30. The British trying to shove us in there overnight. And I guess we've got to go, but I'm trying my damnedest to get the Turks to agree not to invade so we can hold off another day or two. Well, I just got back here after we'd had that visit over there. These press boys were all waiting up here to see the so I drove Well, you just, just you just ought to hit it tomorrow. Just every day you ought to say the Democratic Party is the one party left for America because the other fellows don't stand for anything. That's right. I just, uh, God pity them for they know not what to do. I just feel sorry for them because what do they stand for? 